A Hatboro police officer who was hospitalized for months after a severe reaction to a, a bee sting is heading home now for hospice care. Don Timoney has been following Officer Ryan Allen's story since day one. And Don, you were there today for what was quite a tribute to him. I was, Shana, and I have to tell you, it was both heartbreaking and amazing all at the same time. This officer so loved and respected here in Hatboro and beyond. <laughs> Hundreds of police officers from across Pennsylvania and New Jersey and dozens of canine officers and their dogs coming out to honor one of their own today. Hatboro canine officer Ryan Allen leaving Moss Rehab in Elkins Park for hospice after going into cardiac arrest and suffering a devastating brain injury from a bee sting back in October. This was obviously a really emotional time for all of us here. The tremendous support not only from our colleagues in law enforcement but the public along the entire route was just amazing. The huge procession of law enforcement weaving its way through Hatboro and winding up at a close family friend's home in New Britain, where the 35-year-old will spend his final days. He's a great guy. This is, it's heartbreaking. It's truly heartbreaking. Canine officer John Blanchard with Warminster Police trained with Ryan at Penn's Working Dog Center. The canine community is a pretty tight community, so when something happens to one of us, it kind of happens to all of us. This is Ryan and his wife Whitney, their son Jackson, and his canine partner Louie in happier times. Ryan instrumental in starting the canine unit at Hatboro. Louie on hand for today's tribute to this husband, father, and police officer. He would literally do anything. He was the best. I know, I know people say that, but, but he was. Donald Bender traveling from Harrisburg for his fellow officer and friend. Canine Brotherhood, it's kind of like a, it's a special thing. So, you know, we all consider ourselves family, so I wouldn't miss this for anything. Ryan's wife was actually pregnant when he was stung by the bee. She has since given birth to little Leo. He's now two months old. I have spoken to Whitney over the last couple of months, and she has tried to remain positive. I can tell you she's very brave and very crushed. Jason? I can't even imagine. Just a, just a freak, shocking thing. And nice to see all the support, though. I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, Dawn, thanks for telling that story.